Hi guys, this is the remake video of my hands-on of the Color Cross Universal TV VR goggle um, that is for smartphone size from 4 inch to 7 inch and let's see around about this VR goggle so as you can see here there are two lenses provided and the lens you can you can unscrew the lens to replace your own perfect your own personal preference lens if you would like to if you would like to change them okay and also you can adjust the focus according to your uh, viewing comfortability and also um, the outer ring over here okay that will sit on your face okay it is silicone, okay, black silicone rubber. Um, to be frank, this silicone rubber uh, not a very good material to be used for um, for this kind of wearable that will sit onto your skin because it will make your skin sweat more and also it is quite. Um, it is. It is quite soft if you bend it like this one, press it like this one. But if, but uh, when you are wearing this one, like wearing on your face, it will push on to the uh, the structure itself. Okay, so it is it is not soft. Okay, actually it is not soft. The rubber the band here. Okay, there are two bands. This will sit across your forehead to the back of your head, and this will um, fit across the horizontal of your head. Okay, and it is flexible. Don't worry, guys. It is flexible. Also, it is adjustable according to your head size. Okay, and you can pull this or pull this to make it tighter or um, to, to, to lose it also also can but it is I think um, quite difficult for larger head sizes <coughs> as for the vertical band over here you can adjust the tightness okay the tightness of the when you are wearing this one this program on your head and it is a thin velcro over here okay a very thin velcro i like this okay the velcro over here are very thin um, it is very flexible compared to conventional all uh, all design velcro um, and i like i like the velcro, the velcro design that is used for this one okay it is the velcro the velcro used here are not that um not very noisy when you pull it apart you can barely hear any noises okay? you can barely hear any noises so um how to how about the device itself the google this is the inside um this part is where you put your phone okay how to um, I will show you how to put your phone in this VR Google. First, you have to expand expand this um, the walls over here. Okay, that will hold your phone like so. Expand them. Four points here. One, two, three, and four. Okay, I, it is advisable that you pull the corners slowly. Okay. Pull the corner slowly to avoid this screw over here that um, that holding the these walls, making them expandable, retractable from breaking. <coughs> okay. Same goes for the others, for the other corners. Okay. Be gentle with that because um, the feeling of this. Google is quite flimsy and it might break anytime soon. Um, 
<coughs> I forgot to mention that you also able to change the adjust the lens width okay, according to your viewing comfortability okay that's all so um, so um, when I got this one of the lens holster um, pop out from its slot and it took me about 30 minutes to fix eventually it is because um, this thin plastic plate over here has been rocking all the time that um, making this uh, this lens holster over here um, didn't sit according uh, to the design so it kept rocking and eventually it will um, detach from its slot over here so um, be sure be sure that the plastic plate over here didn't rock press it until it is fit to the back of the uh, that will hold the lens holster um, and let me show you how to put your phone inside okay if you are using smaller phone unlike mine um, I'm using Samsung Galaxy Note 1 GT N7000 um, you have two options if you are using Note and while inserting it if you are using smaller phones you can just put it like this and and eventually you can just uh, slot it in just like how you use your Google Cardboard okay but I'm not gonna do that because it will um, it will ruin the Eva form that will that will hold my phone because it is the, um, using only double tapes double sided tapes to hold this um, Eva form so I'm gonna show you how to <coughs> how to how to insert phones that that hardly fits um, on the phone holder over here so if you notice that the four corners okay the four corners um, these two corners have edges that extend like this and one of the corners um, I think I am like missing missing the corners and this one might break in time soon that is because the design itself are like this so you have to just slide in from one direction only okay like from here not from here so to do that okay to do that make sure that your phone is, is inside this folder okay bottom and above folder and slide it gently okay drop the phone gently and eventually it will fit inside okay and after you cut your phone inside just press the corners to fit your phone's width and height okay like that one a smooth width guys there it is okay it's smooth over here okay the the bottom part of your phone and top part of your phone are exposed so you are able to wear your earphones anytime if you want to have some privacy and of course this one is for your own privacy privacy if you want to or if you are just want to have fun you can just leave it at that and while you are at that you can just plug in your charger to charge your phone <coughs> so i'm gonna show you um, i'm gonna um test this Google with one of the apps I installed three apps but I like one particular apps only it is for, for this virtual reality goggles <coughs> <coughs> that is called the Tuscany Dive Tuscany Dive um, Tuscany Dive uh, quite popular for its um, beauties and the sceneries and of course it is powered by unity 
Okay, hold by Unity. <coughs> you can change your. I'm sorry, I'm sick right now. I'm cooking and haven't been here for about two weeks, I guess. And you can change your quality setting by tapping onto the screen. And right now, the the senior is here. You can you see, are uh, on the very high setting. Okay, very high setting. So um. So let's put my phone inside this VR goggle. So you just slide it in from this side. Remember that, guys. This side, not from this side. Or your phone will have a hard time of sliding in. When you are sliding in your phone, um, don't worry about the dividers inside. Some of you might have might create your own um, 3D 3D Google like from the Google Cardboard or anything else. You have to manually adjust your phones and the and the Google's dividers, right? But for this one, when you are when you are pressing the the walls the walls corners over here to make it fit. And don't worry, it will make your phone eventually make your phone um, to the center of the viewing angle. Um, right now, my phone can uh, hardly slides, but it eventually slides because one some of the Eva form inside that, uh, at the bottom over here and top over here um, has been destroyed when I'm sliding my phone in because it is very shit and I'm having a hard time sliding my phone in so <clears throat> so let me show you how to wear this band properly okay be sure to watch my previous unboxing video about this color cross universal TV VR goggle and of course Okay, some of you might just uh, use this um, the band on top of your head like this. It is uh, this one. Uh, how you use this one are quite comfortable, but eventually uh, it will give the stress of your Google only to your cheeks, not distributed on your cheeks and your eyebrows. Okay, so. To distribute that, you have to pull your um, to pull the back of this band over here. Okay, this vertical and horizontal where the band meets over here, and pull it downwards. Okay, while wearing this, pull it downwards. Let this band um, sits on top of your ears. Okay. Sits on top of the of your ears, and if you put it like this, it will eventually give irritation to your ears over here. So let it sit like that, and then pull it downwards. Be sure to avoid covering your ear canal. Okay, um, like this, the weight will be distributed on on your eyebrows and your cheeks <coughs> okay um i'm going to demo with this um uh with this Ascali dive apps for a while so i'm going to stand and move around and let me adjust this camera okay i hope you guys see that See where I'm going to move. I mean, spin around, moving around like some crazy guy. Okay, so here I am standing right to the welcome, welcome sign, welcome to Tuscany sign. And for this one, you have to, um, you have to look downwards to your feet. Okay, look downwards to your feet 
make the circle green until the second circle is green it will move so um, right now I am moving okay it's moving quite slowly because um, the um, the quality setting is I think it's either high or very high but I don't think the quality setting right now is very high and right now I am at the at the low frame okay the standing right at the <coughs> at the low frame so I'm doing the bus over here with plants and watching the house over here this building and it is quite nice feels like you are inside here okay, let's move into the house going up to the balcony and small end tables over here and going to the wooden bench and some painting some I don't know what kind of painting of it is that going to the fireplace there are no fires but the, but it's like you are in the and of course now on the on the desk that has some books on top of it and some building paintings paintings of a building looking out to the um, to the windows and now let's head to the second floor going up to the upstairs climbing up the stairs slowly and enjoying some of the views outside views of the first floor and let's go to the balcony okay now I'm on the balcony let me stop there now I am standing on the balcony <coughs> Okay, um, the viewing, I mean the sceneries are nice, okay, the sceneries are nice. Um, now I'm seeing the pillars, that's a, the support beam from the balconies, and it is quite, the details are quite nice. It's like um, the real thing, the real deal, and... and I like it. Yeah, I like it. I like this app. No wonder, no wonder the reviews are very positive about this one. It it is as if you are in there for real. Okay, but in fact, of course, it is not real because you are still standing. But if you try to immerse yourself, um, it is it, you will feel as if you are in that place okay. so um, this is the view of the balcony okay the view of the balcony the scenery some of the scenes i hope you can see that okay <coughs> you can download this app this app is free of course i will put that put the link in the description later or you can just if you don't have um this vr google you can just um you can just give it like this one and there are some techniques how you can see this um in 3d without the the help of vr but of course the immersion or anything else are not unlike the VR itself. Um, you have to find that out yourself about the technique of parallel viewing of the SBS. Okay, so um, um, what else? If you have downloaded some 3D side by side videos, it is also very nice to you to you to use. 
with this VR as well. So, um, in my for my thoughts, my initial impression about this is quite impressive. Um, I would recommend this to any of you who, <coughs> who want to experience any 3D immersion. Okay, who want to um, experience good and cheap 3D, unlike you have to buy Oculus Rift that would cost about 300, 300 or 300 to 500 dollars. And some other, some other existing VR that has built-in, um, built-in uh, LCD inside or OLED display inside. So, um, and from my impression is, when it arrived, I thought this thing would be as big as my phone. Okay, I thought. It will be big as as big as my phone and the size as well and everything else. But it turned out to be that the size uh almost the same like original Google Cardboard size that has been handed out by Google I.O. and you can make them yourself and compared to the to this Google Cardboard, this is a modified version of Google Cardboard to accommodate my not one size that, that I downloaded you can find this but it's quite hard and it is nice it, <coughs> it really fits but um, the size of this template is for Galaxy Note 3 so that's why there are some um, there are some empty spaces over here you see over here so when you are viewing with this, the phone will rock. Okay, the phone will rock sideways. Okay, and viewing this quite comfortable. You can you can view this while you are your glass are on, and you have to as for this one, you have to watch upwards a little bit, and it depends. Okay, it depends. Okay, by using this, you have to hold your Hold this goggle with your hand. One arm is not that comfortable to use one hand to keep holding on to your face. Of course, that you can just um, put a hole. <coughs> put a hole here. Okay. Use your own bands or any elastic bands like this one. Okay. And this one, yeah, for my first impression, is very nice, highly recommended. But of course, you have to when you are you want to change your contents, you have to get um, you have to put in and put it out from this VR Google. Um, it depends on what content you want to change. Um, as for me, I will stick on viewing 3D side-by-side -side movies on my phone with these VR goggles and some of the tips guys I'm going to give you and this is for Samsung phones I'm not sure about some other brands than Samsung about the stock video player okay, the Samsung stock video player they have some features I'm not sure about about that features if you guys know or not um, the features is um, about um, locking the video playback playback I'm sorry okay this is the video of my un unboxing okay right now it is not locked so when you touch any part of the screen will bring up any of these um, controls okay like so so to to lock the video player while playing, you just have to press the power button once. Press the power buttons once, and you will see padlock over here. Okay, 
you will see padlock over here. I hope you see that. The padlock. Okay. The padlock over there. Yeah. The padlock. Okay. The padlock. That means that the screen will be locked. But anything, any notification that will pop up, like WhatsApp, um, WhatsApp pop up, message or SMS or any, any calls will be interrupted. Okay. Um, while the video are playing, the stock Samsung video player one will not make the screen, I mean the phone into into automatic lock screen. If you like, you have set the screen for 30 seconds, means that it will go into lock screen in 30 seconds. But while this the video are playing, it will not go into that state. So when you are um, when it is locked, okay, no inputs, okay, it will ignore any inputs, it will get showing the uh, lock pad over here, even the menu button, the back button, even by pressing this uh, this home button also will be ignored, okay. So that's the special features of um, stock Samsung video players. <coughs> and about the VR Google, yes, it is highly recommended. And don't forget to watch my unboxing video if you haven't watched that yet. And <coughs> I will be making another video about my final thoughts. Um, about my final thoughts about this VR goggles. And this video is specifically for the hands on of this VR goggles. So, um, Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check my other videos and um, do comment if you have any suggestion and anything else. So um, I I'll see about that. And please, guys, um, just a friendly comments. No no flamings. Flamings will be ignored. So um, yeah, um, highly recommended. And if you don't have one, try to make your own, try to find the Google Cardboard original template. You can just source out your own equipment over there. And of course, it will not be a good experience. It, at least you are able to see the full 3D immersion with um, those goggles. Um, and once again, guys, subscribe my channel if you like. and. Give the video if you like and anything else and thank you for watching. Peace guys. Thank you for watching once again.